Friends. I'll see what I can do. <gasps> yes. Yes. Just lift as hard as you can. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You saved me. Sure. Oh, that was bad. Okay. Uh, sure. I could have been stuck here and starved or eaten. Oh, you poor, dumb animal. Oh. What'll I tell Mildred? <sighs> well, you need a ride home, ma'am. Oh, oh yes, Mister. Please, thank you. That's cool, girl. Do you know Valentine? I live there. No problem. Oh. Yep. I like taking care of people in this game. It's so nice and pleasant. I don't normally travel this far alone, you know. I was off inquiring about a possible new line of work. I I'd borrowed a friend's horse for the trip. See, my husband... Well... It's just me and my boy now, and it's hard to find work. Mm, I'm sure it is. A good opportunity. That's what I'm looking for. Not much work for a woman with a boy to raise. I won't work in no saloon, but I've got sharp eyes and quick hands. I was hoping to get a job working as a seamstress. A wealthy man said he'd pay me for the work. Sounds promising. Also doesn't sound real. Oh, you may be right, I suppose. He said he'd provide room and board for me and for my child. He wanted to meet me first. I'd be careful with offers like that, ma'am. I can't afford to dismiss offers like these, even if they do seem... All right, girl. Odd. Well, just be careful is all I'm saying. I may not have another opportunity like this. Now I'll have to pay Mildred back for her horse. It sure sounds like you're in a hard position. You finding me is the only good thing that's happened to me in a long while, sir. It'd be my pleasure, ma'am. Back in Valentine. We're close now. Just a little further. What's your problem? Thank you for all your help. You're a good man. Glad I was able to help. You take care. Appreciate it. You be well. Well then. Is there another wanted poster? What the hell? Watch. Hey, crazy. What the hell is your problem? You got a problem? Let's see which one this is worth. What? If I ain't mistaken, you're looking for a bounty. Look no further than that wall, son. Uh. 
Nasty individual. That one? They say she's sleeping rough near Cumberland Falls. And what's more, they say she ain't sleeping alone. Pound him to hell! All right, once we're done this one, we're gonna head back to camp and shave that beard, cause okay, girl. I'd say Arthur's starting to get a little grizzly. Oh, or wait a sec. If I head to say, there's a bounty opposite direction where I'm heading but if I am in the town right now what I can do is I can go over and get a haircut Hello. and shave What's the beard a little bit so let me just you know, I, don't, I don't mind wasting a few dollars to shave this uh, beard down a little bit because I like it I like it being trim first time mister Alright, stranger. Catch my daddy around here. You got that right. Hello there. Ooh. Hello, sirs. Howdy, friend. Yep. Uh, hello there, sir. Don't think I've seen you around here before. What kind of thing you looking for? Let me get my... Well, actually... I can get it taken down to that. <laughs> Better than you hoped, I bet. No, I definitely don't want to go down that far. See, I like having it at this length. Why go home? Damn near a work of art. <laughs> See that cattle skull okay. face? That about wraps things up. Come in the door. Hell there. Thanks, Mister. My booze. Okay there. Hello. Oh. Don't need to thank that hard. It's just a game. All right, we trimmed the beard. Now let's just go and get that little lady and take her down. Yeah. Trust you got, folks. Step right up. Easy, girl. I'm not riding fast. Why? Not speed up. There, I'll jump and maybe that'll weaken her up a little. There we go. Yo, yeah. why do you want? Is there like a speed limit around the town or something? Because that's a little weird. Yeah, I'm really surprised that last episode we were able to catch that legendary bear. I was expecting us to get really close. And then we were gonna get killed, but surprisingly, right as it jumped, it died from like all that blood loss. Which honestly speaking, that was actually pretty cool and came in pretty clutch for once. Are you kidding me? I ran over a bird. It's honestly just really depressing. Blue Jay. Now indeed I have seen it all.
Easy now. Where could she be? Let me check right around down here. I gotta... Kill your sweetheart. Where did they get such nonsense? Where must we be? Now come over here. Come here. That there's a bounty hunter. Get him! Eliana, I, I'm sorry, but I, I, I'm, I'm gonna make you go with the feller. What Ow. kind of man are you? You pony. That's the heaven, little. Oh, Let's you. make this quick. Man, you are a piece of work. Now, come in. Rot in hell. Rot with the rest of them. She just killed another man. What a bitch. This is uh, very kind of you. <laughs> this poor feller. Feel bad that he died. They were having a picnic. And she just cut, kills him. I'm gonna drink some Kentucky bourbon if I got some. That way. Yeah, yeah, let me just. Take this one. I don't think there's anything else I can take, but. You little winch. How dare she? How dare she kill that poor man? Look at the floor for a bit. Ah. All right, girl. Settle in. You got a ride ahead of you. Oh, dear. What came over me? Did I, did I just do those things? It's a, it's a horrible blur. Blood. There's blood everywhere. It won't come out. I'm not like that. I'm a good girl. R really. I promise I am. You believe me, don't you? Don't you, mister? I'll sleep well. This lady is a bad actor. No, it's screwed. I want to hit her. I need help, okay? I, I have an illness. A fever of the brain. I've done bad things, but a jail, a jail ain't where I belong. A sanatorium, maybe. Get me help, mister. Please, save me. Save me from the sheriff. And moreover, from myself. It ain't gonna happen, lady. You ain't going nowhere but that jail. man so tough and burly maybe if I had a strong man like you I wouldn't be in this mess my men folk they all been weak that's what my problem's been how I got in this unfortunate situation but a big strong man like you you'd set me straight wouldn't you mister put me on the straight and narrow your belly open and show you your guts. Gutless bounty hunt nobody. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. Ah! I wish you'd die. Ah! Ah! <laughs> We're coming up on the jailhouse. Anything else you want to try on me? You're lucky you're out of damn way. Boy. Just get me there. You're no fun at all. I'm afraid I ain't. Who wants paper? How you been? All right, let's go, Bessie. You order a lady, 
kill her here, Sheriff? <laughs> that we did. Put her in the cell, won't you? I, I protest my innocence. I protest my innocence. She might be a little shaken up. She lost another feather out by the falls. Poor dear. Men just got a habit of dying around you, don't they, Mrs. Swan? I hope you'll be comfortable, miss. She'll be fine. Now come get your money off the desk here. The Black Widow herself. This town's so starved of women, I'm sure she could find herself a husband yet. Yeah, that's cowboys for you. Indeed. And that woman is quite a busy. Alright, let's see. What is the closest mission to us? Because I'm pretty sure it's not Javier. Oh, hell no, it ain't Javier. Not doing the Strauss mission yet. We're gonna do Dutch. Come on, speed up, Arthur. Okay, girl. Yeah. Yeah, good girl. You had a good old time while I've been stuck standing here. You've been bringing in money? Of course I have. <laughs> you full of shit. Why won't it, she? Why won't this horse ever stay on the thing when I put him on? What the? All right, fine, stay. Just damn. What? What is happening? Yeah, let's get us a bowl of stew. Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Matthews gave me a message for you. He said when it was convenient to head into Emerald Ranch. He's looking at a few business things there. Okay. Oh, he'll find something too. He always does. Will you be well now, Mr. Morgan? I'm always well, Miss Grimshaw. Yes. Hello, Abigail. Oh, hello, Arthur. Working hard there. Somebody's got to do it. All right, well, don't let me disturb you. Yeah, goodbye. Arston. Hey, Arthur. You'll be back on your feet in no time. I sure hope so. Yeah. We need you, John. Sounds good. All right, let's see. I got some money now, but I don't think it's... 
If that's what you mean. I've been on quite a tear. Me and Mary Beth have been so worried about you. Uh, you girls, you have beautiful hearts. Really, you do. I don't know about that. Evening. But we care about you. You seem very sad. My life took a turn for the worse when I took up with morphine and opium. I was told it would alleviate my suffering, and in many ways, they were correct. It made all my previous suffering just seem ridiculous. Now I had real suffering, and I lost everything. My vocation, my faith, my family. And but for Dutch and you poor people, I would have lost my life long ago. Um... I'm sorry about that. So am I. And yet I know in a few days I'll be back at it. Searching for I don't know what in that stuff. <laughs> I've been such a fool. Tell her, Arthur. Tell her what a fool I've been. We're all fools, Reverend. All right, that was a nice sentiment. I'm gonna continue the the story in the next episode, guys. So, I hope you guys can forgive me. And um, leave me alone, will you? You're pathetic. They're getting hungry, You're Mr. Morgan. Man, John Morgan. Who is? The people you haven't fed. Me. When did that become my job? Others are pulling their weight. Ah, oh, give it a rest, will you? Alright, yeah, I'm going to continue the story in the next episode, so if you guys can support the channel, it'll all be a big help. And in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.